Hi, how are you? I'm good. Happy to be here. Oh, good. You look really happy, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not often I'm really happy, but I am now. So. Oh, you look good. Spray, in fact. Okay, we're good. What, what is your first and last name, please? My first name is Scott. Last name is Saunders. S A U N D E R S. And you are the. I'm the director and producer of uh, the Nature Makers, which is a documentary that's premiering. It's having its world premiere here at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. Congratulations. Thank that's, you. That's pretty huge. I understand you have a pretty good theater and a pretty good time and place. Someone's done a lot of good PR for you. Someone has done a lot of good PR. Yes, yes. I've got. Yeah, the 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 producer of the film also is a very experienced uh, publicist. So it, it's worked out very nicely. Yes, it has. So, what do you know? What time and what theater you're showing? So the the the, the premiere was yesterday. The world premiere was yesterday at the Libero, at 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 two p.m. It was fantastic, oh, yeah. and uh, a lot of people came, and uh, the, the 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 response was you know was amazing. So it's always incredibly nerve-wracking sure. uh, because it hasn't really seen the light of day and so to take it out and get a good response was was fantastic. No wonder you're so happy. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Do you get uh, another showing? or was We're, that we're showing tomorrow, Saturday at 1.20 at the Fiesta. The Fiesta. So, yeah, so we're Tell really excited Tell us a little about bit about the film. The film is, is about three teams of, of wildlife biologists, which might sound uh, fascinating to me. It well, what's fascinating about it is they they one of them said during during the filming that what we do is extreme conservation, and I, I thought, oh yeah, that's exactly what this huh. is. And so the idea of the film is to 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 watch their incredibly hard work, their incredibly resourceful work, and work that sometimes you think wait a minute, how can this be good for the environment? But they're very cleverly using this, these techniques to save endangered species or protect habitat that is that is vanishing. And so it it's just a really interesting way, I think, to, to sort of challenge people to think differently about the humans, the humanity's relationship with the natural world. The microcosm. And, and, and it's, but it's also because they're doing such powerful, important work, and they're, they're they're succeeding in an area that's really, really, really hard now because we the environmental challenges are are as extreme as the solutions required. So the fact that they're having success, I think, ultimately makes the film. In, I, I don't. It's almost a feel-good story if that's possible as an environmental film. Well, you need that, and I like what you said about. It's almost as extreme, the solutions are almost as extreme as the problem. I paraphrase that. Say that again. No, I think that the solutions are as extreme as the problems yeah. they're facing. Yeah, so. I love that. So. I think that's really key to the whole story right it, there. It, well, and, and, you know, it's, I'm a big fan of irony, and I think some, some of these solutions are, 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 are so, for instance, in, in Nebraska, one team uses these giant machines to basically perform uh, functions that nature used to do with spring floods in the Platte River Valley. And the, the spring floods would come through and they would, they would just clean out the, the Platte River. But we built so many dams that doesn't happen anymore. So they use machines to do what nature used to do. Wow! And when I when I heard that, I thought that that's a story. It is. So yeah, and it's just it's it visually it's beautiful. It was it was fun to film. So and the people to me, what was most gratifying were, were all the amazing people that I got to meet and film with and who became friends. And it was just so inspiring to see their work. And um, one of the people who's actually here at the film festival with, with us, she recently tallied up the number of lives she saved. She saved 15,000 lives. What it, kind uh, of lives? Um, she rescues the amazing prairie dog. Oh, how wonderful. And, and she wow. saved 15,000 prairie dogs. Oh my gosh, that's great. And, but what's even more important is that that's a keystone species. And so when you save a prairie dog, you actually save up to 100 other species that oh depend gosh. on the prairie dog. So she's actually saved a lot more yeah. than that. So you, so you can see why I'm, kind of, I'm 
inspired by these people. Very inspired. I'm just a humble filmmaker, and they, they're doing really important work. Yeah, but they need someone like you to bring it to the light. I, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing my, my best, yeah. yeah and that's why we're here. So. Yes, that is. And thank you very much for taking time to speak with me. Thank you for your thoughtful questions oh, and taking the time to talk. Okay. Very, very I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, you're a good filmmaker. Thanks a lot. Yes, my pleasure. Hi there.